Hello, good evening. Hello, Nelson. How are you? Hello. How are you? I am very good. Thank you. Oh, very happy. Happy. Very happy. Oh, muy feliz. Really? Yeah. Okay. I am very happy as well. I am fighting with my shirt because it's green. <laughs> so, no, I think I am going to... We are going to work on Monday because of the class we missed on Tuesday. And so we are going to finish on Monday, right? We are going to finish on Monday. And on Monday, we are going to have the opportunity to do the survey and for us to complete uh, all, the, all the things that are missing for, for the last part of the, of the module. Okay. Today, as, as we mentioned on Tuesday, we are going to have normal class. And on Monday, we are going to do the survey and we're going to do the, we're going to finish our module on Monday because of Tuesday's class that we didn't have the opportunity to have because of the electricity issues. And so we're going to move one day, but it's only okay. Monday. It's only Monday, okay? Hello, Jorge, how are you? Very good teacher. Thank you. Miss Diana, how are you? I think Diana is on her phone. Hi, teacher, I'm here. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Fine, but I'm on my way to an event from my work and I can put the camera. <laughs> oh, don't worry, don't worry. But the thing is that you are here and that's that's a good thing. Well, oh, uh, uh, yeah, huh? she's on a party, yeah. right? Huh? <laughs> huh? She's celebrating something today. Huh? That's pretty good. Well. I am going to connect my computer. Give me one second. Because if not, I am going to run out of battery. Give me one second. I will connect my computer. Okay, I'm back. Great. Well, my dear class, how was your day? Good, bad, so so. Excellent. Tell me a little bit about it. My, my day was nice, I think. It was nice. Because th this day I go out to San Salvador um, 3.30. Uh -huh. And I'm here in San Salvador. Hey, but you arrive very fast. Mm, well, so, yeah, so. compared to, to the days with traffic. Yes, definitely. In the integrash, in integration redondel, how do you say redondel? Roundabout. I'm going to send it to you in the chat. It's the roundabout. Round, yeah. roundabout. Yeah. The roundabout. 
roundabout. Yes, that is el, el redondel. So there is there is all normally like full of traffic there. And for sure, if uh, you had the opportunity to pass by in a quick way, it is nice, right? But in some cases, my God, you have to be waiting and waiting and waiting. <laughs> and the traffic gets really horrible. But the good thing is weekend. Oh yeah, on the on the weekend, yes. I mean, you can do it faster, and it, there's no traffic at all. I think on the weekend. But uh, they, I, I, I believe they start the the construction of the roundabout. Yes, so they are starting that, and it's going to take a lot of time. It is going to take a lot of time too to actually fix that and to actually work on, on all the things that they are missing, right? So, but hopefully they are going to finish soon. And you are not going to be that affected by all these things that I, they are doing. I hope so. Yes, because that is something that we really need that they, already, that they fix quickly. Okay, good. So in the case of Jorge, he was traveling all the way back to San Salvador today. What about uh, Juan de Dios? How are you today? Your microphone. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Uh, my, day, my day was so-so, uh, 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 more or less. So-so, <laughs> why so-so? Uh, <laughs> um, we were, uh, I was working in a program for the team group, mm -hmm. for the <clears throat> co-worker um, to, to enjoy um, their vac vacation, day, day vacation days pending. Oh, days. okay. Hey, that's uh -huh. pretty nice. In, in the years, uh, they are going to to go out uh, to to spend a lot of day uh, from today from next Monday to December thirty one. Well very nice because that it's a very good opportunity for them to rest right and for them to recharge that's pretty yeah. nice that you take this moment to consider people right who are missing this type of vacation time and they need to have it right yes. very very nice very nice initiative the one that you have hey that's that was pretty good definitely it was something really really nice right and really admirable because i mean you need to do uh, you need to be fair. You need to be fair with people. Okay, very good job. Well, my dear students, Thank let's you. move on business. As I told you yesterday, we are going to work a little bit on the cycle counts, that it's a part of the inventory management, right? That it's one of, well, it's indeed is the last topic of um, the book, right? That's the last topic of the book. And as I said yesterday, we are going to be working a little bit on it, okay? So I am going to share my screen just to move on business here, right? Welcome to our class number 24 and our class number 25, that it's the last one, it's going to be on Monday, okay? On Monday, please, we are going to connect from eight to 10 and on Monday, we're going to do the survey for all the ones that connect a little bit later. We are going to complete everything by Monday and it will be our last day of classes, okay? That will be our final day of classes, Monday, okay? So let's remember the agreements of the class, right? Practice your English as much as possible. Ask for help whenever you need. Keep your cameras on all the time. Keep your microphones off if you are not using them. Attend all your sessions on time participate as much as possible, keep a cooperative attitude during class, collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group and work on the platform every single day. Thank you for all the highlights that you were sharing about your days, right? And for sure, 
I want to ask you a little bit of what we did yesterday. What do you remember from yesterday's class? Uh -huh. Tell me a little bit of what you remember from yesterday's class. Perfect and suffix. We were doing prefixes and suffixes, right? We were doing prefixes and suffixes. Do you remember examples of prefixes? Examples of prefixes? On. Un. On. Un. un, very good. What else? This. This, right? Um, in. In, right? Very good. And a little glance of the other one. Sub. So. Okay, sub. Super, trans, pre, Semi. over. Good. And what about the suffixes? Do you remember different types of suffixes? L-Y. L-Y, uh-huh. Uh. And there you have them on the board, right? <laughs> there you have all of them. What else? Nelson, another example of a suffix. There you have them. Hello. Examples Hello. of suffixes? Oh. Ahí están. Sorry. Ahí están. <laughs> they are examples of suffixes. Uh, These are the suffixes that we were studying yesterday. Yes. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> Teacher, they are at the end of the word. Okay, they are at the end of the word, right? The pre, as the as the name suggests, it's like prefix. It's at the beginning. Pre at the beginning, yes. right? And suffix is at the end of the word, right? Able, evil, all, aisle, ed. E N E R E S T full I N G all the Asians right the examples of the Asians E D and T right those are uh, examples and here we have some words on which we have used them for example you say comfortable what is the main word here ¿Cuál es la, la, la palabra base de esto the comfortable what is the base word? Comfort. Comfort, right? And personal. What is the main word? Person. Person, Person right? Hope. 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 Hope, right? With Hope. only one E, right? Hope. Right. Hope. Hope. And this is the past tense when you add ED, right? What about wouldn't? What is the main word? Go. Wood. Wood, yeah. wood, that it's madera, right? And N is made of the madera. What about this one? Higher. Hi. 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 Right, very good. Worker. Work. Well. Work. What about biggest? Big. Big, very good. Careful. Care. Well. Care, very good. Just, well. what about the, the next one? Linguistics, running, occasion, attraction. Linguist, run, running, run, 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 occasion. I don't know. <laughs> right. Well, in this case, occasion. It's like um, it's like a, in a date. It doesn't have okay, for example, right? But you say mm. occasion. Right, and because on this one, occasion is the main word because from here you can say occasionally, right? In this case, this one, it is a root and it is a main word, right? Because you can say occasionally, right? Attraction, it's attract, right? From occasion will be like occur. Sería como occur, la, la base de esto, occur. Right, and then you have occasion that happens, right? That happens in a moment, right? Attraction, attract. Uh, the next one you have infinity. It's say infinite, infinite. Right? Infinite. infinite, infinity. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are like the main words or the roots of these words. I have here the next part 
of the ones that we were studying yesterday. You have like plentity, fearless, quickly, enjoyment, kindness, joyous, boxes, happy, right? You have, in this case, we have fearless. It's fear. Fear is the main word. Quickly, quick. Enjoyment. Enjoy. Enjoy, Enjoy. right? Kindness. Enjoy. Kind. Kind. Right. Joyous. No, joyous. Yeah, the, joy. right? like the joyous, right? Joyous. Okay. Joy, right? Joy. Like joy. What about boxes? Box. 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 Box, right? From books. Book. Books. Book. book. Only one book, right? Because when book. you add the, the suffix s, you make the plural form. And what about uh, the ones that are characterized by happy? Or by why? Like happy, for example, right? <laughs> And in this case, the whole word is the root and also the suffix, right? So this is basically what we were studying yesterday, right? We were also discussing a little bit of the professions and occupations, right? The different professions and occupations. And I have a question for you according to the professions and occupations. What was your dream profession? What was something that you wanted to be? when you were younger or some years before you started working? What was your- case, teacher, uh -huh. I, I imagine when I go out like a doctor. A doctor. So yes. You wanted to be a doctor. Yes, but uh, <coughs> when I have uh, maybe 15 years ago, when I was 15 when years, I was 15 years, I realized that the, the blood, I don't like <laughs> the blood. You don't like the blood. Yes. So that's one of <laughs> one of the parts that you say, like, maybe not. Right. Because doctors handle a lot of bloody things. Right. I, I passed. So they say, like, next, you see. <laughs> Thank you, but no thank you, right? So you wanted to become a doctor, but then you became an engineer or an, yeah, an engineer, right? Yes. Yeah, it's related, right? You are saving lives <laughs> anyway. <laughs> very good. Thank you very much, Jorge, for sharing. What about the rest? Who else wants to share? What did you want to be when you were younger or before? And why didn't it happen? I like... Um... Theater producer. A theater producer. Yes. And why in, didn't it happen? In high school, uh, when uh, preparing uh, uh, obra de teatro. The theater, the well, the, the dramas or the plays, you say, the plays. Yes. I, I um, prepare uh, dialogues. The dialogues. The dialogues, the dialogues uh, for every... A person. Hey, so you were the you created the script. Yes, and the lo que íbamos a llevar. And the script and the costumes. Yes, and I love. I love. Ah, it. you loved it. And why didn't you pursue the dream? ¿Por qué no siguió su sueño de 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 seguir en esta cosa del teatro? Because uh, right here in this country uh, is poco lo que hay en teatro. It's not that famous, right? It's not that famous. Well, no, it's a it's a, a hobby. It's look it it is taken as a hobby. Well, thank you very much, Yvette, for sharing. Thank you, Jorge. Thanks, Yvette. Who else? What was your dream? job when you were younger and you didn't make it good evening um well i wanted to be a professional dancer and yeah and it's one of my favorite hobby hobbies and i love dance all the time <laughs> when i was 15 years old i was in a choreography group mm -hmm. and I was 
happy in, in this time. I think it, it was one of the best moments in my life. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I, I, I understand, yeah. I understand. Yeah, and I, I like, um, uh, I like a lot, and I couldn't to be a professional dancer because in El Salvador it's difficult to try to live <laughs> about this profession. about dancing, right? To live from dancing, about dancing yeah. And you don't have <laughs> a lot the of opportunities. Yeah, it's a hobby. Yeah, and they yeah. consider that it is a hobby, indeed. So they don't see it as a profession. Well, yes. thank you. Thank you very much, <laughs> Rocio, for sharing. Thank you very much. One more. Hey, teacher. Go ahead, Manuel. <laughs> Good evening. Hi. <laughs> uh, all the time, I, I wanted to to learn to, well, I, I, I make swing because uh -huh. I'm not professional in this, in this case, but always was my, my dream to learn uh, to, to guard life. Mm -hmm. ah, uh -huh. to, to be a, 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 well, a lifeguard, lifeguard. A lifeguard. Life girl or a lifesaver, both of them are lifesaver. Are... Okay, I I wanted to to participate in the Paso del Hombre. El Paso del Hombre. Yes, because it's it's it's, it's really hard, very hard. I, I I don't have the the skills to to participate, but this is my this is my really. And this is, was was my my dream. Okay, but what? But if you, I think you are always capable to reach your dreams, right? Yeah. If you continue doing your best effort, you can do it. Yes. I remember, I, I remember, teacher, when I was uh, 10, 12 years old. You wanted old to be years? a professional swimmer. Yeah, I, I. I I, I didn't I didn't I didn't know uh, to swim but I couldn't <laughs> swim you say I, I couldn't, couldn't swim but uh, I, when I when I was in ninth grade I I I, I launched in the in the pool <laughs> and you <laughs> learned on the on the hard way yes when I was what do you say flotando floating floating wow I said I can. <laughs> since this is since this moment, I, 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 I like, I like to swim in a pool, in a river, in a in the ocean. I, 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 I can in the ocean. My God! Well, it's really <laughs> admirable. I think that any any dream that you have pendant, you you should do it. I mean, if you like the theater, Yvette, do it, even if it is as a hobby. Right, I, I I really recalled when Rocio said that she wanted to be a dancer. I remember when I was in a in a choreography group there. I was what like fourteen or fifteen years old, and I was dancing there in the quinceañero and all these things. And I was like there in the choreographies from here to there and in the city in El Caldea. Oh, the moment you, you, you was uh, dancing. I know, but I was in the group of of. of in the group. I was in a group of people. I mean, okay. it, they had like a little, like little academy and I was there in the academy and I was dancing all over, like, Actividad la alcaldía, no sé qué, like, grupo baile. I was there, yeah, your teacher was there, students. Yeah, mm -hmm. el lado oscuro de la teacher. <laughs> Allá de pueblo en pueblo, right? Andamos yeah, danzando. But, and I, and I imagine in a moment that I was going to be a professional dancer. Okay. And that will be my life. But I was not receiving money from that. So <laughs> I never imagined becoming a teacher as well. I wanted to be a veterinarian. I have said that oh, okay. before, right? I told you that like a couple yes, of classes yes, ago yes, that yes. I wanted to be I a remember, veterinarian. Yes. And then I wanted to be a flight attendant, 
as I am very tall, I said, yeah, I have the, I have the, the, the skills, I know the language, I have all the requirements, but the only place where they have international relationships was in San Salvador. And I was living in Santa Ana. And my father said, mm -mm -mm, you are not going to move to San Salvador. You're only 16, 17 years old. Mm -mm -mm. And I couldn't. So that's why I, I became a teacher. But I am here and I, and I have enjoyed every single day of being a teacher. Uh, this is the more important, yes. <laughs> this is the most important yeah. part yeah, yeah, to learn. And, and I am very happy with teaching, my teaching with, English. You have to be happy with your profession because if not, you are not going to be enjoying it. And yes. for sure, I mean, you have to enjoy every single day. And before we move into the topic of the day, and before Manuel reminds me, I'm going to call the attendance. <laughs> <laughs> Carolina Jamilet. I forget. I forgot. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Carolina. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maria. Present teacher. Christian Natalie. Present teacher. Thank you. Tengan cuidado. No nos vayamos a perder ahí. Diana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Jose Carlos. Present teacher. Thank you. ¿Cómo se siente? Ya, ya, al cien. De toque, vea. Juan de Dios. De touch. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda y Beth. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. Eh, ok. Miguel Ángel. Ok. Eh, Nelson Gabarrete. Present. Norma Carolina. Eh, Olga Marlene. Present. Thank you. Rocío Verónica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. And Jesuleima. Present. Tatiana Michelle. Present. Vilma Ibet. Present. Marlene Nicole. Omar Francisco. Omar. Present. Thank you. And Dani Anthony. Okay, hey, Danny. Danny didn't connect today. Okay, good, excellent. So my dear class, as I was telling you yesterday, we were going to work a little bit on this, uh, on the topic of the cycle count. This is like a practice that I was mentioning yesterday that it helps people in the different places, in the different workplaces to know a little bit of the uh, size of the inventory that they manage and for sure to have accurate numbers at the moment of creating the yearly inventory. Because uh, when they go and they do this uh, inventory process, I don't know if you have been able to be part of one of these process. ¿Quién ha tenido la oportunidad de estar en un proyecto de inventario? ¿O sea, de inventario? ¿You? Yes. Huh? Someone else who has been there? Okay, Claudia Maria as well who has had the chance to be part of the inventory process. It is really complicated when you have to go one by one, comparing yes. with the code, comparing with the existence, comparing with every single thing that you have. It's like, okay, it's like, what about the nail polishes? How many do we have? Seven, eight, nine. And then you have to be counting yes. the physical count and for match sure the, to match it with the program in the, the computer. With the, right. uh, with the electronic card. Exactly like that, right? It has to match. And match, you have yes. to have the same number of existence. And what is the main difficulty that you consider uh, that you have or that people have uh, while doing the inventory? When I was uh, working in a, a hardware store, uh -huh. hardware store uh, this is uh, in, in December is the, uh, the worst part. <laughs> Of the uh -huh. year. December is the worst part of yeah, the year because the the, the hardware had um, a, have a um, uh, a different uh, articles items and and uh, notes the, the the little notes the little the, the little the, ones 
Yeah, yes. This is very stressing. <laughs> I imagine. Because in that Teacher, case, in, you... five, in, five, in five days, without Saturday, on Sunday. Oh my God. Yes. Five days. Monday and Friday. Monday to Friday. Yes, teacher. So I, I remember that when we used to do the inventory there at the program that I used to work, we used mm -hmm. to count the pages, the paper, the pencils, the markers, and the pages like one by one to see if we have the number of pages that was on the... For example, the, the library, in a library. <laughs> ah, that's, that's really horrible. Yeah, there in the school that I used to work, we used to have all yeah. this type of inventory. So these cycle counts help you to avoid that part, right? Avoid uh, mm -hmm. having these surprises at the end of the inventory. It's like, hey, pero aquí se que hay 60 y por qué solo hay cuatro. Y todos con yes. iPhone nuevo. <laughs> so we're like, we never know, right? We never know. So these cycle counts help you a lot on this one and because they they give you these yearly practices and they make it a little bit easy right they make it easier for you to actually uh, develop better counts and better numbers right at the end of uh, at the end of the year or when you finish let me see if i can change the color so we can have it a little bit clear. Green is okay, teacher. I think green is green. Yes. Yeah, because it doesn't change that much. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. So, and as a version of the physical count, it makes it shorter and it makes it easy for you to adapt, right? So the cycle goes like this, right? The yearly physical count. You continue purchasing things, right? Siguen comprando más cosas. You continue selling things, right? And if you do in the middle of the year, if you do this cycle count, you can say like, okay, let's see where we are right now. How much are we missing? How much did we add, right? You continue purchasing more, you continue selling more, but at the end of the year, you do this closing again. And you say, okay, so do you remember what we had in the middle of the year? Now we have added more products, we have sold uh, some more things, and they go with the yearly physical count again. So it's a big, big process that they have to follow, but it is really, uh, it makes it easier. It makes it easier, right? And a good example, it can be as follow. Here you have it in page number, let me see, 38 on your manual. And in this one, you have different steps that you can have at the, mom, at the moment of creating a simple counting program. And here we are going to read first for us to get vocabulary. Then we are going to organize them in the way that we consider it could be a very good system for this cycle counting program. The first one that we have here is select 200 items, parts, products, finished goods, from your inventory for week one, right? The other options say, keep track of daily accuracy or variance percentages. Divide the items into counts of 50 a day from Tuesday through Friday. Select another 200 parts, products, or finished goods from your inventory for week two. Localize cause of errors and correct inventory record. Accurately count and record all the times and keep checking until accuracy exceeds 90% for minimum of two weeks. So if the first part that we are going to do will be selecting 200 items, what do you think a second step could be? ¿Cuál sería un buen segundo paso después de seleccionar 200 productos? Divide items into counts of 50 a day from Tuesday to Friday. Okay, divide the items in counts of 50. What will be a good third step? The number three, I consider keep track of daily accuracy variance percentage. Aha, uh -huh. okay, you can keep track of daily accuracy and variances. Do you agree that that would be a very good number three? Or do you have any other uh, perspective? Could be accurate, accurately 
count and record all items. Okay, accurately count and record all items, right? That will be a number three. After counting and recording, what do we need to do to see in which, uh, which is the thing? Localize codes of errors and correct inventory records. Very good, right? After you have select, you divide, you count, and then you find errors or mistakes at the moment of uh, working on the inventory. What about the next one? Keep select track. another 200 parts. Ah, select another three. Select another. select another, right? You have to select more, right? You have to select more. After you select more, what should you do? Keep, keep track. Keep track daily accuracy. Keep track of daily accuracy. And for sure, the last one? Keep, Keep checking, checking until, until the accuracy the exceeds the 90% 90 for minimum, minimum of two weeks. Of two weeks. Okay. So in this case, it's like imagine that you have to count, I don't know, apples, right? You select 200 apples, then you divide them, and then you start like keeping the inventory and matching with the system, right? You count, you localize for errors, then you select 200 more right you continue doing the same process you keep track of this and you keep checking until it is almost perfect right do you know all the meanings of all the words that i have here alguna palabra que no la conozcan no yes Que no me detenga. Que no de a todos cinco. No, all of them are clear. You know all the words here. Yeah, teacher. Okay, very good. So, here we are going to work a little bit on the vocabulary, on the vocabulary related to the cycle count program, right? Maybe this is not something that you are going to do every day or that you're going to study every day or that you really need in your workplace, but it is always good to know a little bit of everything, right? What is a cycle count program uh, about the definition? Can you read, what is it? What is the <clears throat> definition? Go ahead. A cycle count program or inventory accuracy, accuracy, Accuracy. Count, accuracy count is a technique where inventory is count on a cycle, a cyclic, cyclic. Schedule, a schedule rather than once a year. The following are some of the advantages. Of its advantages, right? So in this case, it's a counted, counted. Todos los verbos terminados en T y en D tienen pronunciación aparte de ED como ID. Say counted, visited, right? Rest till. We're going to check a little bit on this. You will see. Hoy les traje una práctica ahí de los verbos en pasado. <laughs> For you not to go and make these mistakes. Yes, we have it. Accuracy. You say accuracy. Accuracy. Schedule. 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 Advantages. 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 So, what are some of the advantages? Go ahead and read the first advantage. Let's see. Uh, Yvette, can you help me to read the first advantage? Reinforce the importance of equity in your organizational culture. 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 What is the culture. pronunciation of this one? I have just mentioned it. Accuracy. Accuracy, right. Accuracy. accuracy. Reinforces the importance of accuracy in your organizational culture. What about the next one? Let's Generate see. Uh -huh. focus. Manuel, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. It's okay. Generate focus on continuous improvement at the organizational level. Very good job. And the next one. <laughs> the line went down. Improves, it's going to be for Juan de Dios. 
Improve your supply chain operation through more accurate inventory. Okay, if this one is accuracy, this is accurate. 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 Inventory, data. That. Data. 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 It, we always say data. It's data, data. Data. What about the next one? I am going to ask uh, Olga to help me. Go ahead. Okay. Helps identify and correct receiving, shelving, ordering, packaging, labeling, returns, and full fulfillment errors. Okay. Identify. Identify. Okay. Identify. The next one, you say labeling. 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 Uh, fulfillment. 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 And errors. 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 And the next one, it's going to be for, let me see. Thank you, Rocio. Raises productivity and efficiency through more accurate data, leading to reduce operational and inventory carry costs. Very good job, right? Raises productivity and efficiency through more accurate data, leading to reduce operational and inventory carry cost. When you say inventory carry costs, son los costos que arrastra las fallas en el inventario, right? When you say like inventory carry, it's like las, los costos que arrastra el fallo en el inventario, right? Inventory carry cost. And this is basically, right, some of the advantages of having this type of, of benefits with the counted cycles, right? And for sure, you are going to do it and you are going to have more efficient, uh, results of the moment of creating your inventory at your workplace, right? Or even in your life, when you check your inventory, the existence, la despensa, lo que van a comprar. Yo compré 20 chocolates y aquí solo hay uno. <laughs> your brother. <laughs> Having your cycle count there in the refrigerator, right? It might happen. We never know, right? Rocio is fighting for the microphone. There you go. <laughs> no, she couldn't turn it on. Uh, teacher, okay. Yes. The, the meaning of shelving. Shelving. It is right here. The correct receiving. Shelving. Shelving is where you put the items when you bring them. Right, in the different shelves or in the different boxes or in the different docks, right? Where you place them. Shelving is like como a, uh -huh, exactly like that, right? The shelf is an, an estante, right? So the shelving is where you put your products. Imagine if you if you own a store and you say, like, okay, pero aquí van todo el arroz y los frijoles y todo. ¿Qué hace este papel higiénico aquí, right? This is not the shelf for this product, right? So having the correct shelving, the correct ordering, the correct packaging, and the correct labeling. Because if not, you are going to be there, like the program that, the program that I shared with the supermarket. Do you remember <laughs> that the, they had the Pampers there in $17 and they were normally, what, 49? And they said like, that's the label, look at it. And here it's the, the same label. And so it was the incorrect labeling. It was the problem of the place. So. This was basically it, what I had uh, ready for this part of the count, the cycle count, right? And the last thing that we have here as part of the book, right? It's a reading. And in this reading, what we are going to identify first are the questions, right? Here, we are going to identify the questions first. And the questions go like follow. It says, let's see, I'm going to move a little bit my camera here, maybe at the bottom. So 
I can read. Okay. The first question is, what is Walmart's average inventory? What is Walmart's average inventory? What are the options that we have, people? 32 million, 32 billion, 322 billion. Okay, we are not talking about two or three dollars, right? 32 billion, 32 million, and 322 billion. What is the next question? Walmart's problem is added to two. It's attributed to, and you have what? Walmart's logistics software, software implementation failure. Exactly. You say logistics Mismanaged. software. Mismanaged inventory. Mismanaging. Okay. Mismanaging inventory, right? Here we have the true option. Mismanage inventory. What about number three, right? Question number three. What caused delays to move a stock out to the shop floor? And then you have a shortage in machinery, a shortage in staff, a shortage of distributors, distributors, distributors right? Number four says, how did the stock problem become worst? And here you have the three options, customer stop shopping, Walmart could stuff to saving costs or a stock was delayed. And number five says, why did Walmart fail at inventory management? They didn't forecast an issue with inventory. Processes were not optimized or the supply chain was inefficient. Okay, we have five questions here. We have five questions. The average inventory, the problem was attributed to, what caused the delays to move stock out of the, of the shop floor? Number four, how did the stock problem become worse? And why did Walmart fail at inventory management? Okay, they so these are- forecast. They didn't forecast an issue. With inventory. inventory. We're going to read right now, right? And you are going to identify where each question goes, okay? So you are going to identify in which paragraph we find the answer of each of the questions. Okay, I am going to, I am going to uh, send you the questions in the chat so we can go over the reading, okay? Así las pueden comparar mientras vamos haciendo la lectura, okay? And I need you to identify where is the answer for each of the questions. You are not going to give me just the answer, but you are going to tell me where the answer is and how it answers the question, okay? Let me see. I am going to send it to the group right now. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Here we go. Okay, I sent you the questions on the group. And I am going to put the reading so you can identify where is each of the answers, okay? We are going to do the reading on, on your own, okay? Vamos a hacer lectura individual primero y después vamos a leer todos juntos, okay? Here we go. Here we go, I think it's okay. So I need you to read on your own, read on your own and identify where is each of the answers for the five questions. Go ahead. I will give you some minutes for the reading. Tenemos que encontrar dónde está precisamente la respuesta para cada una de las preguntas, okay? No, 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 
actually to move us to other Okay, we'll give you two more minutes for you to keep on analyzing. Okay, if you finish, raise your hand so I can know that you have already finished. Who has the answer for question number one? What is Walmart's average inventory? 22 billion. And where can I find the answer? In the second line. OK. Cuando les hago una pregunta así como, ¿dónde encuentro la respuesta? And it's like, there it says with over 11,000 stores in 27 countries and in countries and an average of 32 billion on inventory there's the answer teacher 
ok, tenemos que leer la frase que nos da la respuesta, ok, porque oh, si nos decimos, in the second line teacher, es like que me dice like, A, B, C, ok, y por el, imagínense que si fuéramos por el mundo respondiendo como esos exámenes de opción múltiple, ¿cómo te llamas? B, C, A, <laughs> are you happy? C, D, E, F, <laughs> so you say, with over 11,000 stores, in 27 countries and an average of 32 billion in inventory. So there's the answer. So it has $32 billion. Question number two. Walmart's problem is attributed to? Uh, management. Very good. To the mismanaged inventory. Do you consider in general that the supermarkets have a very good inventory system? In general, good, but not excellent. Good, but <laughs> not excellent. Because I have gone to different supermarkets and there are like a lot of products in different places. It's like, una leche en los atunes y no sé qué. And it's like, ah, por ahí metanlo, right? And so it has to be something very, very, very careful. What about question number three? What caused delays to move stock out to the shop floor? Uh, shortage, shortage in staff. Uh, uh -huh. uh, oh, okay. I can see. Uh, due to the shortage of staff, it got delayed <laughs> moving no. out. To the shop According board. to Insider, there were many cases where stock was available in storage, but due to storage but shortage of staff. It goes delay for moving out to the shop floor. Uh -huh. So what is the <clears throat> most, what is, what is the situation? What is the answer that they couldn't move it to the shop floor? They do. A, sh a shortage in shortage staff. In staff. Right? Because they cut out people, right? So like, Ay, no, 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 cortemos personal, right? And mm -hmm. for sure, they didn't have people to move the things on the floor. What about the number four? How did stock problem become worse? When the customer stopped. Customer by, gradually uh, stopped. The customer gradually stopped so, shopping at Walmart, Walmart. because service and empty shelves. And management just need the problem by putting back staff to saving costs. Okay, so the answer in this case will be customers stop shopping or Walmart could stop to saving costs or stock was delayed. Walmart cuts stop to save in costs. Right, it says it worsened the problem by further cutting back staff to saving costs. It's like they were cutting out people and they cut out more to save costs. And the last one, why did Walmart fail at inventory management? In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that there are of stock inventory level will have on the customer experience. Very good job, yeah. right? So they yeah. didn't forecast an issue with the inventory, right? They, for sure, they didn't, uh, they didn't um, analyze what was going to happen in the end. So it is good. And this is the way you have to work. Siempre que tengan un ejercicio, un examen, una cosa que tengan que contestar con preguntas acerca de una lectura, lean primero las preguntas. Porque así van a saber qué ir a buscar en el párrafo. Right? Okay. Porque si no, si leen el párrafo primero, imagínense que solo hubiéramos leído el párrafo y después les digo, ok, contesten esas cinco preguntas. I don't remember the information. I need to go back and read it. So I need to read again. I need to read again, right? But if you check on the questions first, you know exactly what to look for, okay? 
imagínense si los mando a un cuarto lleno de ropa, zapatos y todo, y les digo yo, tráeme un zapato. Which one? What color? What size? It's a sport shoe, a tennis shoe, a casual shoe. What do you want, right? But if I say, I need you to bring me a red pair of shoes that are under the bed. You know exactly what to look for and where to look for it. Right, so that's the form when you have the questions. You analyze the questions, the answers, and for sure, you go back and look for the specific thing on the reading. Okay, so now we are going to practice a little bit of reading, right? We are going to practice a little bit of reading, but we are going to do it in groups. We are going to read in groups, and each group is going to read because I am going to have four people on each group. I'm going to make one, two, three, four. You can have like four different paragraphs, but I am going to count on the group that has less mistakes, okay? Va a ser una competencia, ver cuál de los tres grupos me sale con menos errores. So I am going to read it once. Pay attention to the reading. Pay attention to the reading. And then I am going to send you in groups. You are going to practice the reading. Van a practicar la lectura. Van a practicar un poquito de error correction entre ustedes. Así como, hey, Jorge, no se dice average. Se dice average. No se dice billion. It's billion. Right? You are going to correct yourselves. Si ya alguien se equivoca en el grupo y usted, ay, si eso no es así. But you didn't correct it's also part of the problem of the group, okay? It's like, uy, teacher, diciendo inventory. Pero se dice inventory. Ajá, but why didn't you correct? ¿Por qué no le ayudó? ¿Por qué no le hizo la corrección fraterna? Okay, so we're going to work. I'm going to give you some minutes. Don't worry that you are going, not going to do it in five minutes. So listen to the reading. It says, out of stock problems, Walmart had them too. With over 11,000 stores in 27 countries and an average of 32 billion on inventory, Walmart's supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart's out of stock problem has been making waves in the recent years. Analysts have added attribute Walmart's problems to mismanage inventory. Walmart's logistics are calculated with extreme precision, despite the meticulous detail that goes into optimizing Walmart's processes. Many shoppers were still not getting the experience they expected <coughs> from the retail store. <coughs> okay, commercial. <laughs> if it's not on the shelf, I can't buy it. A customer said in an interview, according to the insiders, there were many cases where stock was available in storage, but due to shortage of staff, it got delayed for moving out to the shop floor. Customers gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shelves and management worsened the problem by further cutting back staff to saving costs. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that their out of stock inventory level will have on their customer experience. Even for giants like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of their business, right? The giants. Even for giants like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of their business. Words, difficult words or vocabulary? Palabras difíciles, vocabulario que todavía les cueste. The one of the most I difficult say, words. How can I say this, this despite? Despite, despite. Uh -huh. despite. Okay. Ridiculous. Meticulous, yes, meticulous. Accomplishment. Accomplishments, very good. Worsened. Worsened, worsened. Worsened, worsened. You say worst, worsened. Worsened, worsened. Worsened the problem. 
attribute is? Uh, it says, where is it? In the Two. six, the five. A no. Attributed, 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 attributed Walmart's problems. Walmart's, mm -hmm. remember, Walmart. because it's a, it's a possession. Position. Walmart's problems to mismanage inventory. Another one. Teacher, delayed or delayed? Delayed, delayed. De Silvia? Do it. Which one? Do it. Do you? Um, it is. Where? In the paragraph, according to insiders. According to insiders, they were, there were many cases where stock was available in storage, but due to, due to, due to, due to shortage, 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 shortage of staff, shortage, right? It's the, of staff, it got delayed, delayed for moving out to the shop floor. Giants. Which one? In the last giants. Ah, giants. Giants. The giants. giants. The giants. Anyone else? Someone else? Never tell teacher. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. Okay. Nevertheless. Never fail, fail. What it said? In this case, Walmart failed because. Oh my God. Where is it? Where is it? Da, 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 da. Ah, in this case, Walmart failed, right? Failed. 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 With B at the end, you say failed. Failed. Aquí haga de caso que no tiene la E. Y dice failed. Failed. Es como delayed. That delayed. you have to you have to think that you are erasing one of the last letters. Delayed. Delayed. Right? Okay, no more. Calcul calculated. About eh. Okay, calculated, calculated, calculated. Rocío? Uh, available. 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 Acuérdense, como es una V, como es una V, el sonido es available. You say available. You say available. Okay, es labidental. Entonces va así. Que usted pone su labio, eh, trate su tienda y dice available, available. Available. There you go. Thank you. Someone else calculated. Aquí entra la regla que todos los verbos terminados en T y en D es id. Calculated. Calculated. Ajá. No more? You're ready to practice? Empty shell. Which one? Despite. Despite, uh huh. Okay. What was the other one? Empty shelves. Uh, empty shelves. Shelves. And let's see, let's see, where is it? Customers gradually. Customers gradually, gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shelves. Shelves es otro caso el que les acabo de explicar con la letra V. Say shelves, shelves, okay? And that's it. Okay, I am going to make the groups. I need you to practice the reading. I am going to send you the reading there. Let's see, if not, the weekend. Here you go. I am going to send a picture. There you go. 
I am going to send a picture to the group. Let me see. Okay. There you have there you have the reading on the group, okay? I am going to make the mini groups for you to practice. Se dividen los párrafos o se dividen el, el párrafo depende en el número de personas que tengan, okay? So I am going to go and send you to the groups right now. And we're going to practice, okay? El grupo que tenga menores errores va a ser el ganador de este reto. Go ahead. Accept my invitation. The reading is on the group. There you go. Accept my invitation, please. Thank you. I am missing Rodrigo and Miguel Angel. Thank you. And Danny. Mr. Miguel Angel, can you listen to me? Hello, Mr. Miguel Angel, can you listen to me? Hi, teacher. Hi. I dream <laughs> just... for a moment. I dream. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> accept my invitation to go to the group. Your friends are waiting for you. Yeah, teacher. I'm Don't sorry. worry, Miguel. I understand that you're very tired. Go ahead. Accept my invitation. ¿Le llegó la invitación, Miguel Ángel, para el grupo? Yes. Okay. Can you accept it, please? Thank you. Warmer, I interviewed. No, four. I think four. I think four. I think four. I think four. I to the core of their business. Okay. Yeah, sorry, number two. 
An interview. The interview, yeah. No, I think it's a... Mention the, the error, if there is, to correct the, the pronunciation. You can start, Christian. Okay. Walmart's gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty, empty shelves and management worsened the problem by fewer cutting back staff to saving costs. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that their that their out of a stock inventory level would have in the customer experience, even for gigants like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of their business. Giants, giants, giants. <laughs> giants. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Then we start again. Remember that you need to correct each other, right? Ya, si alguien en su grupo se equivoca y usted ya identificaron el error, ya también, ¿verdad? Pobrecito que lo dejan equivocarse. Okay. <laughs> you, can, you can practice and I can listen. Okay, go ahead. I, I'm going to listen to you. Who is starting? ¿Quién comienza? Go, Carol. Go, teacher. Go ahead. Out of stock, stock problems, Walmart had them too, with over 11,000 stores in 27 country and average of uh, 20, 32. 32. Million, 32. Uh, 32. Sí, tú, eh, billion in inventory, Walmart supply chains is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, accomplishment. Accomplishment. Impressive, you say. Impressive. Impressive accomplishment. Ah, impressive accomplishment. Nevertheless, eh, Walmart out of a stop problem has been making waves in the recent years. Analysts have attributed Walmart problems to mismanagement inventory. Okay, you say recent analysts attributed mismanaged. mismanaged. Right. Very good, continue. Walmart logistics are calculated with extreme precision. Despite the meticulous details that goes, that goes into optimizing Walmart process, many shoppers were still not, still? Getting the, still not getting the experience they, ex, they expected from the retail store. Yeah. If it's not Continue. on the shelf, I can buy it. Buy it a customer say in an in, in interview. In an according interview. Inside, interview. Interview. Uh -huh. According to insiders, there were many cases where stock was avail available in storage, but due to storage of staff, it got it it got delayed for moving up to the shop floor. Okay, shortage, shortage of staff, right? Shortage sure. of staff. And the last one. Sure. Okay, customers gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shelves and management worsened the problem by fewer the cutting back staff to saving costs. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate the forecast, the effect that their out of stock inventory level would have on the consumer experience. Even for giants, <laughs> giants. Like, Wal 
giant like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of their business. Okay, gradually, say gradually. Okay. Gradual, gradually, gradually, like graduate, uh, you say gradually. Okay. But gradually. Gradually, gradually. Gradually. Okay. There you go, bad service. Bad service. Bad ser further. 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 Uh -huh. Customer. Further. Okay. Customer. Customers. Giants. Giants. Remains. Remains. Okay. Very good job. Practice <laughs> for the last time because we are going back. Okay. So, okay. sobre todo, solo aquí me quedo viéndoles todo el, 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 el reading. Uh, so, you cannot, you cannot make mistakes. Okay. Practice for the last time because we are going back. Okay. Stop sure. it. Stop it too. Stop. 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 It's uh, like stop. a T at the end. Stop. Uh -huh, How with T? Exactly stopped. like that. Stop. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. It got. Stop. It got. Delayed. Yeah. Delayed. 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 No, no, no. Delayed. Mm -hmm. delayed. 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 Uh -huh. delayed without the delayed delayed uh -huh. delayed delayed for moving out of to the shop floor the shop floor the shop good. floor yeah. for the, the customers last... probably stopped shopping at walmart because of bad service and empty shelves and management worsened, 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 Ay, estoy fregado, me mojé ayer, teacher. Ah, no, niño, una su, una su, se terminó fue en una gargantina ahí. ¿eh? Gargantina no, no me no, paga no, nada no. por este comercio. Pero <risa> agüita, 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 agüita tibia. Oh, se, no, se nos va, Nelson, se nos va. <risa> no. no. No, se nos, se nos va el latón. <risa> el... <risa> se nos va del, 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 del verbo presente <laughs> okay practice for the last time because we are about to go back to the room okay go ahead okay okay, okay. i continue okay thank you teacher <laughs> done go ahead i okay. listen Todo junto. Todo junto. everything no 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 everything okay. así como lo han así okay. como lo han desglosado Vamos. Ah, así como lo hemos desglosado, no todo yeah. junto. No, right now, ah, all okay. of you. Go ahead. Ahorita todo junto. No, no, ahorita como lo, no, como ah, lo van okay. a leer, como lo van a leer y la parte que le toca a cada quien. Es que lo, lo, de, lo, lo cambiamos, teacher. No sé si fue eh, algún error por ahí. No, okay. que, ah. La primera lo, lo leí yo, comencé, vea. Lo que pasa es que habíamos cuatro y después lo hicimos tres, ahí cambió todo. <risa> Yeah, I think Miguel, Miguel, sí, ya lo, ya, ya lo había perdido antes. Ok, entonces yo llego, comienzo yo hasta, hasta Walmart, Walmart Logistics. Ok. Go ahead. Eh, okay. Out of stock problems, Walmart had them too. With over 11,000 stores in 27 countries and an average of... 32 billion in inventory. Walmart supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart's out of stock problem has been making waves in the recent years. years. Analysts have attributed Walmart problems to mismanaged inventory. Who's next? Walmart. Linda. Walmart's logistic. Okay, Walmart's logistics are calculated with experience, precision. extreme precision. 
despite I despite the meticulous detail and goes into optimizing Walmart process, many shoppers were still not getting the experience they expected from the retail store. Sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, Jose Rodrigo, if it, if it's not on the shelf, 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 I can buy it, a customer say in an interview. According to Insider, there were many cases where stock was available. Available. In, available, available in storage. But due to a store a shortage of staffing got delayed for moving out to the shop floor. Customer graduality stops shopping at one because I bad service and an empty shell and management worse the problem worse. by food. Worse, worsened. Uh, worse, worse the problem by food recruiting, but it's tough to say in cost. Right. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the, the effect that their out of stock inventory level will have on the customer experience. Even for giants like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of their business. Okay, I will. No, oh, I am here. Rocio, I sent you to the incorrect group, right? Yes. <laughs> you were in group? I was in group. Yeah. You were with? I was in the group one, I think. With, uh, who were your partners? Ivette. Yvette, Juan de Dios, Nelson, and... Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> ahorita, ahorita me la llevo. <laughs> ¿Qué hago? ¿Qué está pasando? <laughs> okay, you are wearing group number one. Okay, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. We are about to go back, my dear class. I was listening to a group. Okay, I will come back in a second. Sorry Please, that I had, I had to, I had to leave. Someone was asking for help. So in this case, we say insiders, insiders, insiders. Available. available, shortage, 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 delayed, meticulous, meticulous, right? Meticulous. meticulous. Yes, worsened, 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 shelves, shelves. 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 Exactly Shelves. like that. Shelves. Yes. Processes. Shelves. processes. The processes. processes. Processes because it's plural, right? You say processes. Yes, yes. Okay, the processes. Good. And I am going to listen to the last group and I will come and I will take everybody back to the main session. Okay. Let's see. There you go. No. 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 <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Ah, Hello. ¿de quién Hola. estaban hablando? Ah. ¿De quién Hola. estaban Hola. hablando? <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to go back to the main session, okay? Let's go back. Okay. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back to the hello. group. Hello, hello. Hello, Dianita, welcome. Hello, Silvia, Danny. Danny, Anthony, I was calling you on the WhatsApp, but you didn't answer. Okay. Okay, we're going to practice. We're going to practice what you were doing with your group. 
right? I was I was checking and I was uh, I was correcting some of the mistakes on the groups, and for sure we are going to do it together, right? We are going to start with group number one. Yvette, Juan de Dios, Nelson, Rocio, and Tati. There you go. I am going to share my screen so you can have the reading. And here we go. Okay. Let me see. Yes. Okay. Action. Out of a Out of a stop problems. Uh, sorry. I, I won't. <laughs> I think no, it was my group. Okay, well, go, 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 go. A Tati le vamos a dar el último párrafo. I'm oh. sorry. Es que pensé que era todo junto. Lo que pasa es que me sacó y no escuchaba nada cuando entré. Okay, don't worry. Your group is going to take it for you. El grupo va a levantar aquí el team por Tatiana. Vamos, por Tatiana. Go, group. <laughs> Pero cuál me toca. Tatiana lo va a leer todo ella sola. Ay, what, what? Ok. Tatiana. Así como ya hemos dicho de primero. You can do it, Tatiana. I didn't hear anything. Sorry. Ok, Tatiana is going to be. I am going to assign a part for Tatiana. Tatiana is going to read this part. Ok. There you go. Good. Who was that part? The el primero quién es? Um, me. Okay, Rocío, you go from out of stock all to uh -huh. Hasta dónde uh, Miss Manage Inventory. Okay. Inventory. There, there you have. Who was number 2? Me. Uh, okay, where was to it? To retail retail store. Uh -huh, to retail store. Then okay. Tatiana. Tatiana, then Nelson. Nelson, yeah. Nelson, eh, hasta saving costs. Y Manuel mm -hmm. termina. No. Let me see. No, no, no. It's Yvette. Yvette. Ay, ya le estoy poniendo mal. Yvette. 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 Go ahead. Action. Okay. Out of stock problems, Walmart have them too. With over 11,000 stores, in 27 countries and an average of 32 billion in inventory. Walmart's supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart's out of stock problem has been making waves in the recent years. Analysts have attributed Walmart's problems to mismanaged inventory. Walmart's logistics are calculated with extreme precision, despite the meticulous detail that goes into optimis, optimizing Walmart's processes. Many shoppers were still not getting the experience they expected from the retail store. If it is not on the shelf, I can buy it, a customer said in an interview. According to the insiders, there were many cases where stock was available in storage, but due to a shortage of staff, I got delayed delay for moving out to the shop floor. Okay. A customer rarely is stopping up because of the bus service and empathy stable and and managing question the problem by finally couldn't back start of a survey in court. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the the effect that their out of stock inventory level will have on the customer experience. Even for giant like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of their business. Very good job, group. Very nice. Claps and reactions for the group. People, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. 
reactions for your group. Yay, reactions for the team. Yay, very nice, very nice. A lot of hearts, a lot of hearts. Accomplishments, say accomplishment, accomplishment. Nevertheless, nevertheless, it got delayed. It got delayed. Management worsened. Management. Shelves save so. customer. Okay. Si esto hubiera sido un examen de lectura, tenemos uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve errores. Nos hubiéramos sacado 9.10. This will be a very good grade indeed. Okay, if it were an exam of reading, right? 9.10. Group number two, let's see. Vamos a ver cuánto se saca el grupo dos. Group number two, go ahead. Group two is made up by, let me see. Me, teacher. Jose Rodrigo, Linda, and Manuel. Yes, I start, teacher. Go ahead. Out of stock problems, Walmart has them too. With over 11,000 stores in 27 countries and an average of 32 million in inventory, Walmart supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart's out of stock problems has been making waves in the recent years. Analysts how Walmart logistic attributed Walmart's problem to mismanaged inventory. Walmart logistics are calculated with extreme precision. In that despite the meticulous meticulous detail that goes into optimizing Walmart's processes, many shoppers were still not getting to <laughs> getting the experience they accepted from the store. If it is if it's not on the shelf, I can buy it, a customer said in an interview. According to insiders, there were many cases where stock was available in storage. In short, in storage, but uh -huh. due to shortage on staff. It got delayed for moving out to the shop floor. Customer gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shelves. And management worsened the problem by further coaching back staff to say in cost. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect there that they of, of stop. Inventory uh, level will have on the customer experience. And if we have like warmer inventory management, remain the core of their business. Very good job. Very good job. Hey, eh? my God. I am very glad that you are reading in a very beautiful way. Reactions for your classmates. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Reactions for everybody. Reactions, reactions. You can send a heart, you can send a celebration, you can send a clap, whatever thing. Very good job. If this were an exam of reading, we will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It will be a 9.3. Hey, very good. You got a better score than the previous group. Very nice job. Now, group number three. El grupo cuatro tiene que sacar diez. Because now we have, we have corrected a lot of mistakes, right? We have corrected a lot. Here, for example, we have attributed supply billion, not million, billion. And storage, shortage, and giants, right? Giants. And let's go with group number three. I am missing only two groups, right? Group number three. There you go. Okay, group three is made up by Claudia, Cristia, Jorge, please go ahead. Okay, let's start. 
out of stock problems, Walmart held them too, with over 11,000 stores in 27 countries and an average of 32 billion in inventory. Walmart's supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart out of stock problems has been making waves in the recent years. Analysts have attributed Walmart's problem to mismanaged inventory. Walmart logistics are calculated with extreme precision despite the meticulous detail that goes into optimizing Walmart processes. Many shoppers were still not getting the experience they expected from the retail store. If it's not on the shelf, I, I can buy it, a customer said in, in an interview. According to Insider, there were many cases where stock was available in a storage, but due to a shortage of stock, it got delayed for moving out to the shop floor. Customers gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of a bad service and empty shelves. And management worsened at the problem by further cutting back staff and saving costs. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that their out of stock inventory level will have on the customer experience. Even for giants like Walmart, inventory management reminds the core of their business. Wow, very good job. Oh my God. We only have one and two attributed and mismanaged, right? You got a 9.8. Very good job. A 9.8 reactions for the team. You got almost a perfect score. Very good, very good, very good. Hey, congratulations. Reactions for your group. Very good job. I am going to send you a surprise because it was very good job. And the last group, right? Group number four. Ah, we have a big challenge, group number four. Oh my God. Okay, group number four. Its group is made up by Carolina, Diana, Jose, and Silvia. Go ahead. I think the Anita was included at the last minute, but I don't know if she will participate. Go ahead. Out of a stock problems, Walmart has the two with over 11,000 story in 27 country and average of 32 billion in inventory. Walmart supply chain is an impressive logistic accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart out of stock problem has been making waves in the recent years. Analysts have attributed, attributed a Walmart problem to mis mismanage inventory. Walmart logistics are calculated with extreme precision, despite the meticulous details that go goes into optimizing Walmart's process. Many shoppers were still not getting the experience they expected from the retail store. If it's not on the shelf, I can buy it, a customer say in an interview. According to Insire, we, there were many cases where stock was available in storage, but due to short days of staff, in got delay for moving out the, to the shop floor. Customer gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shelves, and management worsened the problem by further cutting back staff to saving costs. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that their out of stock inventory level will have on the consumer experience, even for giant like walmart inventory management remains the core of their business yay very good you could say giants that's a very good thing 
<laughs> Yay! Reactions for your friends. Very good job. Very good job. You see, these little, these little successes that we have, for example, Jose Carlos was struggling a lot to say giants, right? But he did it at the end, and that's a very good thing. So let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mistakes. So we got a nine here. Very good job, my teams. Very nice. You see, nadie bajo de nueve. Eso es una gran ventaja. That's pretty awesome. So, congratulate your team, please. Congratulate your team. Feliciten a su grupo, chicos. Hombre, todos lo hicieron muy bien. Congratulations, team. Congratulations. You did a very good job. Which was the best group? Number, Number one, two, three, or four? Number four. Number three. Number three. Number two. Was it the best group number one? Oh, yeah. No. Yay, no. <laughs> number two? Yeah, number two. <laughs> number three? Number two. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Number four? <laughs> Congratulations to all of you. I have lots of claps for everybody. I am going to call the attendance before anything else happens, right? Kaiser está bravo esta noche. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa en esa colonia? Okay, Carolina Yamilet. Present. Claudia Maria. Present, teacher. Christian Natalie. Present. Diana Elizabeth. Here, teacher. Jorge Humberto. Present, teacher. Jose Carlos. Present, teacher. Jose Rodrigo. Present, teacher. Juan de Dios. Present, teacher. Linda Ivette. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. Hey, and Linda. What happened to Linda? She had, she was just here. Se me perdió. Eh, Miguel Ángel. Ah, Miguel Ángel. Disappeared. Nelson. Present teacher. Norma Carolina. <coughs> Olga Marlene. Olguita. Hey, 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 hey. Perdí a Olga, perdí a Olga. Tiru, tiru. Ok. Rocío Verónica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Present. Silvia Zuleima. Present. Tatiana Michelle. Present. Bill Maivet. Present. Marlene Nicole. Omar Francisco. And done. Okay, very good job. Okay, my dear students, show me your right hand, please. Muéstrenme su mano derecha. The left. The left. The right. The left. Both. I'm with the cell phone, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> on the floor this hour. Okay, no, that's no. good. That's for you to that's for you to come back, right? To come back in. Very good, very good. Yeah, Falling on the, cell, the cell phone on the floor, right? Yeah. Okay. I have here, I have here a good example of eight things that people hate doing. What is the one that you hate the most? These are the most common and normal things. Let me see. Yes, these are the most like normal things that people hate doing, which is the one that you hate the most. I have here a lot of examples. A standing line, do the laundry, travel to work. In my case, the number seven teacher. Open, uh, clean the house. Yeah, clean the house. Clean the, and your wife. Hmm. Yes, teacher. Es cierto, teacher, yeah, no it's... sé nada. <laughs> I still haven't seen it, yo lo he visto. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like to clean the house. Cristia? Which is I one that like you do the, do the laundry. Doing the laundry, right? I love doing the laundry. What I hate is folding the clothes. I hate uh, both. <laughs> <laughs> what about Yvette? What is one thing that you hate from these eight things? Stand the line because I have the, the uh, pain of the back. 
you get packages, right? You get packages a lot. Ah, oh, a lot of packages. Good. Juan de Dios, what is one that you hate? I hate doing the laundry. Doing the laundry, right? Doing the laundry. Tatiana? Yes. Teacher, I hate. See you, right? <laughs> <laughs> I We're... hate standing in line. I hate work in the yard because my mom loves all the, the, all the flowers and everything like that. Uh, I hate go to meetings because I get bored. Okay. And I, when I... I when I travel by bus, I hate to, <laughs> and that's all. <laughs> I hate traveling by bus. I hate everything. I hate people. You. <laughs> I <laughs> hate exercise. <laughs> okay. I Got hate it. in the house. <laughs> oh my god! But I have to do it. Everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> oh my god, Carolina. Yes. I have to do it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. What is something that you hate, Carolina? Um, exercise. Exercise. <laughs> I do exercise. You say it's like I know. <laughs> um, um we're in the jar. To work in the yard and exercise. Good. What about you, Nelson? Oh, sorry. What is something uh, that you hate? Choose one. What in the yard? Uh, Working in the yard, right? Rosa Beatriz, what is something that you hate? Maybe travel to work. Travel to work. Manuel Antonio? Clean the house, teacher. Clean the house, you told me. And Claudia clean Marie. The, clean the motorcycle also. <laughs> everything, clean everything. <laughs> Claudia Maria. Clean the car. Exercise. Car exercise. <laughs> Claudia hates to exercise. <laughs> what about you, Jorge? I hate two, two of them. Uh -huh. First one, stand in line. It's the worst no, yes um, and travel to work travel to work good let's see uh, jose carlos which ones do you hate stand in line and open the mail when i'm working <laughs> open because... the mail yes i hate that you hate that silvia suleima what is something that you hate Hello. <clears throat> Thank you. I, I think she hates all of them. That's why she doesn't want to answer. <laughs> Jose Rodrigo, tell me one that you hate. Uh, stand in line and travel to work. Stand in line and travel to work. Who am I missing? Yeah. Me falta de mm. Okay, Rocio Veronica, which ones do you hate? <laughs> They're, uh, open the mail, definitely. Open the mail. It's like I know. And now that we just click and that's it, right? Imagine when you used to open the letter to read it, to answer. Uh -huh. it's, it's, the problem is not the open mail? the open the mail. The the problem is what there is inside the mail. <laughs> yes. That's <Absolutely>. awful. <laughs> yeah. But I I think I think it's worse uh, a meeting that could have been a mail. Una reunión que pudo haber sido correo. Creo que esos son las peores. Yes. Yes, even. Cleaning, work in the yard. You don't like it. No, I like. Ah, you like. Yes. Me too. Me too. I like. Me too. I like it. I. Yeah. Dicen que después de que cumplís 30, puede ser la señora de los gatos, de las plantas, o de los adornitos de la casa. Stop. No, teacher. It's not true. <laughs> so you are not either, either. How about your mother loves plants? So you yes, are you are like kind of related. <laughs> I am terrified and I, I don't think so. I'm going to be the 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 
the lady of the <laughs> the plants or something like that. Never. I don't. You will never become the lady of the plants. But is there something that you collect? Hay algo que coleccione o que le guste y que tenga un montón de eso. Yes. No. <laughs> Not yet. No, okay. no yet. Entonces es la señora de los tickets. Abra la cartera y se dará cuenta. Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Entonces, yeah, ya, it's true. Eh, y este de qué es? Quiero ver. Ay, del 2002, mira. <laughs> And at the end of the year, I have to put many, many of the vouchers in the garbage because I have many of them. <laughs> so you are the lady of the ticket. Only yeah. Only that teacher. Siempre, because... siempre caemos en uno, right? <laughs> okay, so before we go today, I just wanted to make sure that you remember this little rule that with the pronunciation of the past tenses, right? All the verbs that finish in T or in D are going to get the pronunciation of il. For example, wanted, needed, right? Hello, Manuel, tell me. Well, Uh, could you send this this chap chapter in the in the WhatsApp group right now? But I have, but it it disappeared in my. In ah, myself. my goodness! I'm going to send it to you right now. Don't worry. Thank you. Okay, so all the ones that end in T or in D are going to have the id at the end. We say wanted, needed, right? Son segunda sílaba. So tenemos el verbo y una sílaba agregada que en este caso es id, right? Wanted, needed, right? The ones that end in P, in K, in SH, in CH, in GH, TH, SS, C, or X are going to sound like a T at the end, right? You say helped, looked, looked. washed, watch, laughed, breath, uh, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed, right? The T sound at the end. The vibration okay the vibration it has a strong voice and the ones that finishing l n r g v s w y and z are like d right cold cleaned offered damaged loved used followed enjoyed amazed as you can see these ones todos estos verbos no son verbos fuertes porque el contrario de helped es un verbo fuerte, dice helped and called, right? You use the D at the end of the verb, right? It finishes in L. Use, use repeat, teacher. Used. 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 Used with the D. Used. Used. Used with the D sound at the end, right? Used. And many people say used. Yes. And that's incorrect because incorrect. used it's with D with D, D at the end. Okay, yes, I am yes. going. S S kissed. Okay, say kissed, kissed. with a t -t 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 sound. Okay, so that is something very important that I wanted to remind you because you have a lot of issues with this, right? And this happens with the regular verbs only. Why? Because the irregulars have a specific form, right? This happens with this one, right? I have some examples here. You say, can you help me to read them? Bueno, vamos a leer antes de irnos. Que esos terminan todos en id, right? So yes. Teacher, teacher sorry. Yes. Uh, the evaluation. Ah, the it's going to be on Monday. On Monday, because no, Monday, Monday is our last day. El lunes es nuestro uh, último día, chicos. Recuerden, sí. porque por la clase del martes que no tuvimos, el yes. lunes es nuestro último día. Ese día, porfa, no me pierdan clase, porque vamos a hacer la evaluación y vamos a hacer otra cosita que les voy a enviar el día de mañana okay. para cerrar nuestro módulo, ¿ok? So you say, suggested, voted, waited, wanted, shouted, hunted, Adopted, accepted, painted, contacted, hated, included, landed, needed. Okay, so in this case, remember if it finishes in T or in D, you have to add ed at the end. Now this one's finishing D, right? Lived, lived, lived. climbed. 
Found. 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 Waved. 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 Arrived. Waved. Arrived. Arrived. Cleared. 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 Studied. 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 Listened. 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 Toured. 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 Considered. Considered. Traveled. Traveled. Stayed. Stayed. Rescued. Rescued. Happened. Happened. And the last one finished with T, right? Announced. Announced. Cooked. Cooked. Walked. Walked. Talked. Talked. Finished. Finished. Typed. Laughed. Laughed. Brushed. Brushed. Crashed. Worked, 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 liked, 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 attacked, attacked, attacked. You see how beautiful they sound in the correct way. Ya ven que hermosos suenan los verbos con la, con, con la pronunciación correcta. Beautiful, they sound beautiful. Teacher, don't forget to send it, please. This I, I sent the first one already on the group and I'm going to send Thank this you, one as well. So you can practice, very, you can practice. It's yes. very helpful. On Monday, I am going to give you the definitions or the different groups for the irregular forms. The irregular forms have also little families, right? And I have them right here, right? The irregular ways. Los formas irregulares tienen también su familia, ¿verdad? Que se dicen que es que los irregulares son tantos que no me los puedo aprender. <laughs> Todos los que terminan en 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 el participio. Bit, bit, broke, chose, right? And here I have right the other verbs, the specific ones. I have here the ones that end in un. The W N G H T, right? I have the ones that have that they don't change. Tengo los amigos que no cambian, right? Bet, 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 cos, 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 cut, cut, cut. So son los amigos más fieles de todos los verbos. No sí, cambian, yeah. <laughs> right? The ones that end in N T. But we're, I'm going to show them to you in a little bit more detail on Monday. Okay, we're going to work a little bit on the regular forms. Well, my dear students. On Monday, on Monday, we are going to do a final uh, exercise on which we are going to wrap up the module. And each of you is going to have like two minutes. Cada uno va a tener como dos minutos para expresar unas cuantas preguntitas que le pueden mandar en el chat el día de mañana. Okay, para que preparen sus respuestas y puedan tenerlas para el día lunes. Have a beautiful night and I'm going to see you on Monday for the last class. Yes, Thank you. I'm yes, going to stay yes, if any yes. of you have questions, okay? Have a nice Bye. night, everybody. Have a beautiful night. Have a good Bye. night. Bye-bye. Take care. Please, please, please. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. I'm going to stay here if you have questions. Bye-bye. Rocio. Bye-bye. Bye, Danny.
Well, that's all for today. See you on Monday for the final class.